Pisces, this is Jackie Tomlin, and this is your general reading for the week on July 25th, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're seeking a personal reading, don't forget, it is JackieTomlin.com. Okay, so Pisces, you've got a lot, a lot going on this week, okay? First of all, you're going to have to dig for your patience, and there's a warning here to proceed with caution. There's a second warning for you to slow down. Now, that's going to be at work, in a vehicle, at home, wherever you're at. You are also putting your foot down to someone who is using and are taking advantage of you. Now, let me say this. This is a week of getting what you want, but it's going to come in in a form that you're not expecting. And you are also dealing with another Pisces energy. Now, when I see Pisces and Pisces, it also indicates a little bit of stubbornness. And I've seen that in a lot of the signs this week. So your first card up is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles comes with the sale of something, perhaps. This is money in addition to. This is money that's in addition to your regular paycheck. With that, we have the Two of Pentacles. And this says, if you guys have been struggling financially, or I'm going to say not really struggling, but maybe out of your comfort zone, maybe borrowing from Peter to PayPal, those days are almost over. And we have the King of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries. This says you're taking your power back. You're putting your foot down. You're saying, you know, I've done A, B, and C, and now it's time we do X, Y, and Z. So taking back your power. You have the Karma card, Pisces. Karma is rolling around, both good and bad for you this week. And in the center of the reading, you have the Chariot. Your yes answer, getting what you want and getting what you desire. Remember, it's going to come in a form you're not expecting. Two things with the chariot. One, it's going to come rushing in. And two, it's when you least expect it. Okay? With that, we have the eight of swords. This is what I call the card of self-imposed restrictions. This means no one is holding you back at this time but you. Okay? So be warned of that as you go through the week. We have the Nine of Cups coming in with wish fulfillment, with total happiness and total contentment. And we have the Shadow Side. So yeah, you're, you're one of two signs that has the Karma card with the Shadow Side. What does this mean? This means someone close to you is actually going to show you a side of them that you've never seen before that I'm going to describe as being very disappointing. Okay? And we have... The Knight of Cups coming in with that unexpected offer of love. Wow. So we've got a lot going on here for Pisces. Let's continue on. Uh, we're still looking at Pisces for your week of July 25th, 2022 on what you guys need to know. All right. Pisces, on that Eight of Pentacles, you have the Fool. As in, you know, you are happy-go-lucky. Carefree and aloof tells me you're getting ready to take a leap of faith, okay? And with that, we have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands says you guys have been working on yourself. You've been making priorities. You've been putting yourself first. You've been getting things done on your to-do list, maybe some meditation, some spiritual work. Uh, but it says that whatever you've been doing for yourself is going to pay off this week, okay? On the King of Wands, we have the Knight of Cups again. Knight of Cups has appeared here twice with the unexpected offer of love, really driving that point home. On Karma, Eight of Wands, total happiness, total contentment with some love arrows flying around. And the Chariot comes in with that Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords normally means lies and or deceit. I'm going to say someone is holding something from you. It's not necessarily a lie, but they have not told you everything. Okay? On the Eight of Swords, we have a Tower card moment. This is probably what's going to lead up to that Tower. Is someone not telling you something and you confronting them? Okay, this leads to sudden changes. This is your temper. This is you blowing a gasket. You ranting and raving and venting, and then life goes on. So it's going to be, it's going, that energy indicates sudden changes. It's going to come rushing in, and it's going to go rushing right back out. On the Nine of Cups, we have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords says you are leaving the trouble waters and you're heading off into the calm. And on that shadow side, we have the hangman. Uh, you may be feeling a little stuck that you're not moving forward, you're not moving backwards, just no movement. That's not the case. Can you see the circle around his head here? It's asking you to be still, that when you're still, the clarity that you're seeking will actually come to you. On that Knight of Cups is the Four of Cups. So now we have two different 
offers of love here. So that's going to be very significant for my singles telling you that you've got options. And I can say when what I'm looking at, one of them you're going to go with and one of them you're not. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Your bonus card to the center of the reading is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands says your new beginning is now. And it is now as in the week of July 25th. So thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic week. JackieTalman.com for personal readings. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.